Hey everyone, in this video we're going to build a really simple game so that we can learn the basics of character movement, the enhanced input system inside of Unreal, and a lot of the other gameplay framework systems like game modes and player states and all that other good stuff. And we're going to learn it all by implementing it into our game as we build it up. So we'll explain it every single step of the way. So first of all, we're going to be working from an empty project so that you can see what it looks like to build it from scratch. And then if I hit play, you can see our game little ball we can roll it around and pick up collectibles you can see that's tracking we're also going to add a little ability where you can dash a direction just by a mouse click it'll kind of hop a little bit see a little bit of sliding because we are using physics appropriately you can also see that we are going to use game modes player controllers player states pawns and all that other stuff that is important to a proper structure in a larger unreal game we will also learn about how to use the input system by creating our own input actions and assigning them inside of a map. We will take our input actions and we'll process that inside of our pawn. And we'll talk a bit about vectors and how we can manipulate them. We'll also talk about adding a new action that will launch our ball a certain direction and kind of what that looks like in code. And also how we can expose some things to the designer to control. We'll briefly talk about cameras and how we can customize that. Then we will cover the basics of materials, material instances, how to make a collectible that we can drop into our level and pick up. They'll have sound effects and particle bursts when we pick them up. We'll also talk about the differences between player states, player controllers, and game states, and then how we can store information inside of a player state so that we can access it anywhere. Then we'll talk about creating a simple little UI widget that will track our collectibles and bind itself to our collectible count. The collectibles will increase over in the top left over there. And then finally, we'll look at a couple tips on how to build out our game so that other people can play it. So even though this is a simple game, we're going to use good practices when we put it together, which means it will take longer to get through, but you're gonna learn a lot more about the fundamentals and the approach will allow you to more easily build on top of the game at the end if you want to. 